Hi, the Indian markets have been quite positive for this entire week, primarily led by the domestic events. RBI's rate policy has been predominantly responsible for this week's positive uh, uh, closing. RBI has signaled a rate cut, uh, which has been the first after a long point in time. RBI has also moved their stance from uh, tightening to uh, neutral, uh, as well as they're moving their focus on growth vis-a-vis uh, -vis, uh, inflation. Uh, this is signaling further rate cuts during the year and that sent a positive sentiment across the market. Uh, overall, the uh, Indian market has uh, breached, uh, Nifty has breached the significant resistance of 11,000 odd levels and gone to a uh, high of what 11,118 uh, while closing at 11,069 odd levels. Uh, during the week, Nifty had touched the low of 10,670 odd levels. So it's been it's been a, a significant move for Nifty during this week and it uh, had a high, of, it has given a positive move of about 2.2%. The sectors that uh, did well during the market have uh, during this week have been uh, uh, auto that has been up by about 6.3 percent, uh, consumption that has been up by about 4 percent. That didn't do well has been uh, PSU banks, uh, they were down by about 2.8 percent, and metals they were down by about 2.7 percent. With regards to technicals, Nifty had formed a, has formed a strong uh, bullish, bullish candlestick pattern for, on the weekly charts. On the daily charts, it's formed the Doji today, so it's a little indecisive. Uh, on the RSI for the weekly charts, it's gone to uh, gone to about 57 odd levels and MACD is still trading about the signal line. So overall, the market looks reasonably positive for the coming week. However, uh, however, we can expect uh, volatility on account of elections. RBI has has signaled a rate cut and that's going to send a positive sentiment for the coming week. Uh, with, but with no other events, the primary focus will be on elections and that could bring in some amount of volatility. So we would recommend you to trade with, uh, with strict stop losses. The upside resistance is about 11,180 odd levels and the downside support is about 10,850 odd levels. So that's our outlook for the market. With regards to stocks, we have a buy recommendation on Manapuram France with a target price of 110 odd levels with the support with the stop loss at about 90 odd levels, signal gain about 6%. This stock has been uh, breaching uh, its 200. This, this stock has breached its 200-day moving average on the upside. Uh, it is uh, it is moving with a strong bullish candlestick pattern, and uh, we have an RSI at about 61 odd levels. So we would recommend a buy on the stock. Uh, the other recommendation is on Excite Industries. We have a sell recommendation with a target price of about 209 odd levels with a stop loss about 231 odd levels, so signaling again about 4%. This stock has been in a significant downturn for the past six weeks. Uh, the, it's formed a strong uh, bearish currency pattern on the weekly charts and RSI has also gone down to about 31 odd levels. The other stock recommendation is Tata Chemicals, again a sell recommendation with a target price of about 580 odd levels and a stop loss of about 680 odd levels, signaling again of about 3%. Again, the stock has breached its 200 day moving average, the 52, day, 52 week uh, low is about 586 odd levels. There's a strong bearish currency pattern on the weekly charts, so that's a recommendation for the week, thank you.